everyone, I'm going to save the preamble and just get right into it. If you're a PS2 owner, this is just something you might have to look out for, or maybe you have experience with similar games, but for today, I'm just going to show you the following game. So here we have Simpsons The Road Rage for the PlayStation 2. Pretty fun game. For modern day, it has this flaw that I must address today. It refers to memory cards. Now, this is all purely something that has not been documented online by anybody. I am actually the first to kind of notice this problem, or at least document it. So today I'm going to do the best to try and explain my experience to you. So basically, after all these years, I wanted to go back and play this game, and I got a hold of it. Sweet. But my problem was, is uh, discovering that this game corrupts your memory cards. Yeah. Pretty scary. Before I freak you out too much, you can still play the game. It's just a few things that I'll need to point out to you now. So that you guys know what to actually do to avoid such a problem. Basically, you want, obviously, a memory card right here, but what you want to make sure is, you want to make sure that your memory card has Magic 8 support. So generally that will be your officially, official Sony ones, or it will be a second party memory card actually licensed, such as these Mad Cats ones here. I have not tested the Mad Cats, the second party cards yet, but considering they have Magic 8 support, it should be fine, because I'll explain. What happened here is, obviously I have these third party ones here. They're pretty good, they do a great job, you know, for what they are. They're cheaper, they're more readily available and stuff like that. Unfortunately, with some early titles, like this game for example, this being a 2001 release, it checks for Magic 8, at least to my understanding now. If you go save with a memory card like this, you end up with a problem like this. <laughs> it's hard to catch on camera, but basically, this was my childhood memory card. All of my save data got corrupted. Basically what I did is I loaded up the game, I thought, yeah, cool, I'll make a save file so I can save my cards and all that kind of stuff. And what ended up happening was, well, it, pro it without any kind of prompt, it just went straight to the next menu and decided to uh, make a save file, but then immediately corrupt itself and then wipe the rest of the card so that when you boot it into the browser, all you could see was this one blue cube of death and all my childhood saves were gone. So to save anybody else that pain and heart, I thought that this video was very important to address to everybody today. Third party memory cards, fine, but don't use them for some games such as this because you will regret it. It's worth having an original one laying around, obviously for those circumstances where you have games that are really, really special to you and you do not want them getting corrupted, so therefore that I use this memory card. As also noted, the second party ones should probably work considering it has magic gate support there and the mad cats ones were licensed they have a logo and everything they had the licensing they were allowed to do this but some of these other ones like these pro gamer for gamer you know other more generic ones generally yeah they don't have magic gate copy protection so you have to be very careful so i do advise caution to anybody playing make sure you have the correct memory card and hopefully you won't have the same problem as me 